Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great on this beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, please check out the description box, all the nice links, Discord, Twitter, uh, support page. Drop a like, subscribe as well if you want. And there you go. So here we go. Here we are. We had a button and we made it all clicky and stuff. So let's just run that and make sure that works. Also, let me see that I'm recording. I think I am. Uh, what was the problem? Wait, I did try some stuff out. Oh, yeah, this is uh, this is for later. Just going to remove that. I was just playing around with some stuff. Hopefully, I didn't change anything else other than that. I think, think we're okay. Let me just run this. Uh, seems fine. Okay, so it's all clicky and beautiful. Look at this. All clicky and nice. See? Um, and that's cool. So now we have a button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function in main menu state called uh, void init buttons. Okay, so because every state isn't going to have buttons, this should, doesn't have to be in the state um, class here as a pure virtual or anything like that. Pure virtual function because you know, we're going to recreate this function in each state that needs buttons. Um, so here we go. Now we can initialize buttons. In the constructor, I'm going to do this, init buttons, so I don't forget. We have our game state button, but we'll be, we'll be removing that really shortly. Actually, we'll do that right now. So I'm going to remove that. Instead of that, what I'm going to create is I'm going to create a std map. Okay, std map. Uh, and it's going to have a key as a std string. And then we're going to have a button pointer as a second second item, basically. And we're just going to call this buttons because maps are really nice. We don't have to use numbers to uh, refer to our uh, indices, right? In this array, we can use other types of keys. So there we go. Now we have buttons here. Very simple. Before we start creating buttons through this, I'm going to create the destructor for it because I always do forget. And for that, I'm just going to do for, uh, for also outside, maybe auto iterator equals this buttons dot begin. Okay. And then we're going to say, we're just going to make the first field empty and iterator is not uh, let's see, let's see, or should we actually do this? Iterator. I'll put this in here as well, just to make sure, but we're not going to define it in here because that saves some, some loop time. Uh, iterator, this buttons dot end, and then plus plus iterator, okay? The other way around, not it plus plus, because that's also a loop optimization. This is faster than doing it the other way around. Uh, so there we go. Now we have some checks going, everything's fine. And uh, as we end it, what we're gonna do is iterator second. That's what we're gonna delete. Because that is a basically empty or basically uh, the, the dynamic memory. Okay, so if I just run this, let's see if it crashes because it's probably gonna set some stuff. Uh, what happened? Game state button. Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta just comment this out and comment this out because we'll be using those later. Um, and we'll run this, nothing, and it didn't crash. Cool, so that works. Now, now, let's add our first item into... What did I do with that? Wait, one second. Just give me one second. There we go. Control X that. Put it in here. And instead of this game state button, this buttons and a string game state button equals new button blah 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 BTS n probably should be buttons game state we'll just do that game state new button new game and that's cool okay now we did do initialize buttons here uh, end state update cool okay so we have update there now we're gonna create a update 
void update uh, buttons function. Okay. And we'll just leave it empty. And then void render buttons. Now, again, we are using. Uh, we need to do that in there. We are creating a bunch of functions for this button functionality. I know it would be nice to kind of have that already set up for each of these uh, these states. But we're going to have to, every time we create a state, we're going to have to decide if we want to create buttons or not. Okay. So that's going to be an issue. Uh, but that is basically the constructors. Initialize stuff. Okay, so we're going to render them. And what I'm going to do is control X that, put it in here. Uh, this render buttons, very easy. Target. Um, let's do some kind of stuff in there. Update buttons, control X that, put it in there. And then this update buttons easy peasy okay so pretty much pretty much everything we need we're just gonna open these up now now we're gonna have to iterate through those and let me just try this let me see if I can do a for oh, god damn it for each loop for auto iterator uh, auto iterator this buttons okay so iterator iterator auto iterator hmm Let's see. Second. Okay, that is the button. So let's just try this first. And then we'll do the update. Dot update. Remove this. If we can iterate through it like this in a map, I'm not sure. Second update. Okay, so let's see if this works because for each loops are the fastest. And we want speed when we're rendering these buttons and everything. Uh, and then render target into that target. We'll just remove this as well. So we're gonna, now we got the render and we got the update and they're being called and everything's fine. So let's just run this and let's see if it crashes. We probably will. Uh, generating code. Hmm. Okay, no, it does update it, it does work. We can close that down and we're good. So cool. Now I'm going to create another button called exit state. Okay. And it's going to be about 300 down. It'll be the same size. It's going to say quit is what it's going to say. Quit. And the color is going to be the same. Everything is going to be the same. I am feeling that. I'm feeling that this was a little, little bit too dark. So that makes it nice. So there we go. Now we got another button. The exit state and the game state. And we do have our update button here. Update mouse position view. Okay, so we're updating them in the update. In the update, so we're updating the buttons. If this buttons game state or exit, let's just do exit dot is pressed, and we can do a bunch of functionality. So here we're gonna quit the game, quit the game, and I'm wondering if I should have this in update buttons. Probably I should. Probably I should. Hmm. It's always hard to know 
Or because you kind of want to put them in relative, relatively uh, uh, logical places, right? So, but if this is pressed, basically we want to do this and state. Okay, pretty much, because I guess update check for quit. Uh, update. Let's go into state. I don't actually remember how. Check for quit. Check for quit. If okay, quit is true. State. Okay, no end state is something completely different. I think. Okay, just prints out all that stuff. Okay, that's cool. Um, all right, but this should be able to just set this quit to true I guess that's not the best way to do it because it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really make it nice though but I guess okay let's just run this and see because we've got to end the video let's just let's just see so it should have two okay I don't know what the hell happened okay if this button state okay so it should be exit state here not exit okay that should make it work basic very simple little issue very very simple um, and then I have my quit button here and I quit it and it quits the game for me right there um, so there you go so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say update all the but buttons in the state and handles their functionality okay nice comment just tell me what this function does and we're good so there you go the exit state worked um, to make sure the game state works, what we want to do is pretty much just copy paste this, put it up here, and we'll say new game, okay? New game. And then we'll say game state, that button right there is pressed. Then we're going to pretty much just push a new state onto this. And the way we do that is we go into game state dot cpp um, and we're gonna have to no we're gonna have to go into game dot cpp and it states and copy this now the thing is the thing is uh, we're gonna have to send the states the states uh, what do you call it uh, the state's st map, or what is it? A, a, a stack. Yeah, we're going to have to send it in to itself, kind of. Um, so that's pretty much how that's going to work. And it's a little complicated, but it does work. Uh, and then we'll be able to push a state from a state into that state stack. And that's what we're going to be doing in here later. Okay, so it's pretty much going to look like this. And right now it doesn't know what the hell all this stuff is, the states and all that stuff. But we'll have a pointer to itself all the time, at all times. Okay. So, yeah, that should that should make sense once we implement that. But thank you for watching. We'll, uh, we'll work on this. Just make sure you comment this out. You don't have to kind of use it right now. Comment that out and make sure everything runs and you should be fine. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Check out the description box. Also, take care, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.